Today, we're diving headfirst into the ultimate challenge. Can you survive these 15 death traps? Brace yourself, because this video is not for the faint of heart. So, if you're ready to test your courage and grit, let's dive in and see if you have what it takes to make it out alive. Number 15. Atlantic Ocean Road The Atlantic Ocean Road in Norway is a really special place. It's one of the most dangerous roads in the world, but at the same time, it's also one of the most beautiful. If you want to see some amazing views while driving, this is the road for you. But be ready for a wild ride. One of the highlights of this road is the Storsesundet Bridge, also known as the Bridge to Nowhere. It looks like it goes straight up into the sky. When you drive over it, it's best not to look down, especially if you're afraid of heights. Once you get past the scary parts, the road runs right along the edge of the sea. It's thrilling to see the waves crashing against the rocks, but during storms, things can get really dangerous. The waves can be so strong that they might even wash you off the road and into the ocean. So, if you decide to drive on the Atlantic Ocean Road, be prepared for an adventure. Number 14. Cotahuasi Canyon Road the Cotahuasi Canyon Road is a very tough road. It starts near a city called Arequipa and goes through a canyon. The road is not paved and is full of rocks and pebbles. Sometimes, rocks can fall from the cliffs beside the road. It gets even harder to travel on during the rainy season. It takes about 10 to 12 hours to drive from one end to the other. Only very brave travelers can do it, and only cars with four-wheel drive can make it. Tourists and adventurers usually avoid this road because it's too difficult. The Cotahuasi Canyon is one of the deepest canyons in the world, even deeper than the Grand Canyon. The road has many sharp turns and dangerous drop-offs. It's very high up, about 15,000 feet above sea level, where the air is thin and it's hard to breathe. Number 13. Taroko Gorge Road the Taroko Gorge Road is in Tadwan. It's about 12 miles long and passes through mountains. Even though it's bumpy and dangerous, it has amazing views. Many tourists visit it, and you'll see lots of buses, cars, scooters, bikes, and even people walking along the narrow road. It's scary because the road is narrow and has sharp turns and spots where you can't see well. Sometimes rocks fall, floods happen, landslides occur, and earthquakes hit, making it hard to keep the roads safe. Despite these challenges, people still travel on it every day. Number 12. Karakoram Highway The Karakoram Highway is a road that goes between China and Pakistan. It's about 810 miles long. People think it's really amazing, like the eighth wonder of the world. It's beautiful, but also very dangerous. The road goes very high up, over 15,000 feet above the sea. The air is thin there, which can make it hard to breathe. There are many dangers along the way, like landslides, falling rocks, floods, avalanches, and steep cliffs. Even though it's a popular road and part of the old Silk Road, which was a very important trade route in history, building it was dangerous. In 1959, when they first built the road, about a thousand workers died because of explosions and landslides caused by the blasts. Also, there have been accidents where buses fell off cliffs because the driver went too fast around sharp turns. One time, a tourist was killed when a landslide hit their van. Number 11. Ferry Meadows Road The road called Ferry Meadows Road might sound nice, but it's actually very dangerous. It's in Pakistan. This road is about 10 miles long, but it feels much longer because it's so risky. Most of it is made of loose gravel, and it's really high up, about 8,000 feet. There are lots of sharp turns, and if you go too fast or aren't careful enough, it could be the end of your journey. Even though it's beautiful, you have to be really careful because there are no guardrails to stop a vehicle from falling off the cliff. It starts from Karakoram Highway and goes to the village of Tato. At one point, it gets so narrow that you have to walk instead of driving. It's definitely not a road for people who get scared easily. Number 10. 99 Bend Road to Heaven Have you heard of the Stairway to Heaven? Well, there's another famous road in China called the 99 Bend Road to Heaven. 
It's a scary road that twists and turns through Tyanandan Mountain National Park. This road has 99 sharp turns that were built high up in the air. It took eight years to build this road, and it was finished in 2006. To reach this road, you have to drive up Tongchang Avenue, also known as the Avenue Towards Heaven. The 99 curves on this road represent the nine palaces of heaven. When you reach the top, it feels like you're in a divine place. There's even a natural rock arch called Heaven's Gate, which was believed to be a link between gods and the mortal world. Number 9. Gulian Tunnel In the past, if you wanted to get to the village of Guliang in China during the day, you had to take a narrow and dangerous path carved into the side of the Tehang Mountains. While it offered beautiful views, the journey was long and hard. One wrong step could mean disaster. The local villagers didn't wait for the government's help. In 1972, a small group of just 13 people decided to dig a tunnel through the mountains instead of going around them. They didn't have fancy tools like excavators or dynamite, so they had to dig by hand. It took them five years of hard work to dig a tunnel that was about three quarters of a mile long, 16 feet tall, and 13 feet wide. Even though it wasn't the biggest tunnel, it was impressive because it was built with only their hands. At the toughest part of the digging, they could only progress about three feet a day. Sadly, three people died during this difficult process. The tunnel changed the villagers' lives by giving them better access in and out of the village. It also became a popular tourist spot over the years. However, the Tamil doesn't have safety barriers or lights, so drivers enter at their own risk, especially at night. Locals even call it the road that does not tolerate mistakes, showing how dangerous it can be. Number 8. Pan American Highway The Pan American Highway is a long road that goes through many countries. Usually, it's not dangerous like some other roads with sharp turns or steep cliffs, but it can still be very risky because of people. Most of the Pan American Highway is normal, but there's one part where it's not safe. In that area, there are often fights between groups of people who disagree with each other. The further you go into this area, the more likely you are to meet these groups. Also, nature can be unpredictable, and people can be like that too. Many travelers have been stopped by these groups, taken away, and sometimes kept for a long time until their families pay money. Some unlucky ones never get to leave. So, if you have to drive on this highway, you should go as fast as you can and don't stop until you're safe. Number 7. Dalton Highway If you're planning to drive on the Dalton Highway in Alaska, you should bring everything you might need because there are no hospitals, hotels, restaurants, or gas stations for a 400-mile stretch. Much of the road is not paved and made of gravel, which can be very dangerous, especially in bad weather. The road has steep slopes where cars can easily slide if the driver isn't careful, especially if they're not driving an all-wheel drive vehicle. Since there are very few people along this stretch, wildlife often crosses the road, so drivers need to be quick to avoid hitting animals. However, swerving to avoid them can be risky because of the unpaved road. It's a tough situation, and speeding is not a good idea, especially in winter, when the road gets icy. Even experienced ice road truckers won't drive it when it's that bad, and avalanches make it even more dangerous. Number 6. Amur Yakutsk Highway The Amur Yakutsk Highway is a very tough road in Siberia, one of the coldest places in the world. People who live there are very strong, even just reaching there is hard. The highway is nicknamed the Road of Bones. It takes you to one of the coldest regions in the world. You have to use two highways to get there, the R504 Kalima Highway and the A360 Lena Highway. Both highways are dangerous, even if they're well looked after. They're connected by the Lena River Ice Road, which is a temporary road made on the frozen river. It's only open from December to April. But it's risky, and many people lose their lives there every year because their vehicles fall through the ice. The visibility on the highway is very low, and it's open only during specific times. To reach the ice road, you have to go through dangerous snow, especially after heavy rain. When the highway gets really bad, 
Traffic jams with 4x4 vehicles can stretch for miles. Everyone hopes their cars don't get stuck in the mud. Number 5. Zojila Pass The Zojila Pass in India is a really long stretch of road. It's about five and a half miles. This road is very scary for travelers. It goes up really high, up to 11,500 feet. And guess what? There are no fences along the edge to keep you from falling off. This road goes through the Himalayas, which are the tallest mountains in the world. It's not even paved, it's just dirt. Sometimes rocks and mud slide onto the road. And there aren't many signs to tell you what's ahead or where it's dangerous. The road goes around the Rocky Mountains to connect two towns, Srinagar and Leh. It's so dangerous that it's closed in the winter when there's tons of snow and strong winds. This road was first made in 1947 for the military. It's really important because it connects two important places, Ladakh and Kashmir. During the winter, Ladakh is completely cut off from the rest of the world. When you drive on the Zojila Pass, you can see lots of overturned buses and crashed cars that didn't make it. Number 4. Karnali Highway the Karnali Highway is a very dangerous road in the rocky Himalayas of West Nepal. About 50 people die there every year. It's 155 miles long and driving on it can feel like asking for trouble. Even when it's not raining a lot, it's still very risky. The road is covered in dust, which makes it hard to see. This dust also makes it tough to spot dangers like landslides, falling rocks, potholes, flooded areas and steep cliffs. It's not a road for people who get scared easily. It's best to avoid it if you can. The police even say it's too dangerous to drive there at night because so many deadly accidents happen. They say 85% of the road isn't safe to drive on. Number 3. North Yungas Road if you're driving in Bolivia and you see signs for the North Yungas Road, turn around immediately. It's called the Road of Death for a reason. This road is about 50 miles long and is very high up, over 15,000 feet above sea level. The air is thin up there, which can make it hard to breathe and can damage your car's engine. The road goes from La Paz and is only wide enough for one car. It's really dangerous because there are steep drops of up to 3,000 feet into the rainforest below. There are also more than 200 sharp turns, and it's often foggy, making it hard to see. Plus, there's the risk of landslides and rocks falling onto the road. Until 1994, there were no guardrails along the road, and about 300 people died on it every year. Now, some parts of the road have been widened to help traffic flow better, but it's still really risky. People from all over the world come to cycle on this road, but many fail and fall to their deaths. Sometimes, it's better to stay safe and not challenge dangerous places like this. Number 2. Killer to Panji Road The road from Killer to Panji in India is quite scary. It's about 70 miles long and goes up to 8,200 feet high. There are no guardrails, so it's dangerous. Only drive here if you're really brave and good at driving. The road is only open in the summer and it's not paved, so you have to go slow over bumps and rocks. One part of the road has a big rock that looks like it could fall at any time. The road was made a long time ago by local people and has never been fixed. It's only wide enough for one jeep, and if you make a mistake, you could fall 2,000 feet down the cliff. Number 1. Skipper's Canyon Road Skipper's Canyon Road is a road cut into the mountains of New Zealand. It's not like regular roads because it wasn't made with pavement. Miners carved it out over a hundred years ago. It's still narrow and scary like it was back then. The road is about 16 miles long, starting from Coronet Peak Road and ending at Skipper's Campground. It goes along the edge of a canyon high above the raging shot of a river. Nowadays, mostly tour buses with really careful drivers use it. Some adventure companies also take people there for excitement. But it's dangerous because there are no guardrails. Also, some parts are so narrow that only one vehicle can pass at a time. If two vehicles meet, one has to back up until there's enough space. Sadly, people die on this road every year. In 2021, 185 people died. 
Thanks for joining us on this thrilling journey. If you think you've got what it takes to survive, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell for more heart-pounding adventures. And remember, this video is not for the faint of heart. Stay brave, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.